Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. See you all here this morning. Well, I did see you, but I can't now. But, uh, but uh, it's lovely to see you all here and to welcome you as you come to share with us this evening. Uh, last evening we had a good prayer in again and uh, we had a good evening uh, together. Uh, they done very well. They're going to do better tonight, I'm sure. So it's uh, lovely to see you all here. Uh, I'm not going to say much about the musical because it, uh, it will uh, unfold and explain uh, how it uh, kind of works, if you like, right from the beginning. Uh, it's called Simeon, as you well know, and uh, it's the Christmas story as told through the eyes of, of, of Simeon. And uh, that, as I say, will be all revealed to you uh, right from the very start of, of the musical. If you want to applaud in any way, then please do after the songs. Uh, some of you may want to, some of you may not want to. The lady uh, saw me in the foyer uh, last evening, and uh, she said, oh, that was wonderful. She said, I really enjoyed it. But she said, I never know when to clap. I said, well, okay, uh, you can, I'll, I'll leave that to you uh, for your sensitivity as well as far as the uh, applauding is concerned. So, uh, that's all I'm going to say for now, and uh, we'll get straight on with the with Simeon. Thank you.
My name is Simeon. How does the psalmist put it? I have been young, but now I'm old.
Because he wants taxes. Money, 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 money. Oh, Augustus, you will bust us. Money, money, he wants more. No one wants us. Judea, the town of David. 
So he went there to register with Mary, who was placed to be married to him, and was expecting a child.
sing sheep, sheep, sheep. Is there anything more to life than sheep, sheep, sheep?
The angel who told the shepherds that they would find the baby in Bethlehem lying in the manger. So eventually the shepherds were convinced. They really had seen the angels. And the angels really did tell the baby born that night to be the Saviour. They made us go and see for themselves. So they wasted no time and made their way to the Bethlehem stadium.
It was an amazing sight. Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds in the crowded stables, worshipping Jesus, obeying the manger. Mary kept much of what was said hidden in her heart. It would come in useful later on. But the scene would not be complete without the presence of the wise men who journeyed from the east following the star. <coughs> now when Herod the king heard about Messiah being born, he was very perturbed and secretly summoned the wise men to him. He told them to go to Bethlehem and find the baby and then returned, telling him exactly where the child was. So they set out again with a star before them. When the star stopped at the place where Jesus was, they rejoiced greatly. As they entered the stable, they saw the child Jesus with Mary his mother. At once they worshipped him, for they knew they were in the right place.
The Morris men were warned in a dream not to return to Cabot and tell him of the rare postal baby. So they departed to their own country by another route. Now all this took place just a few weeks ago. And when I stood there in the temple courtyard with that same baby in my arms, these old eyes of mine filled with tears of gratitude and praise. For I knew that indeed I had seen the salvation of Israel.
That same God who spoke through the angel messenger to Mary. That same God who spoke through his heavenly host to the shepherds. And the same God who guided the wise men safely back to their countries. Why should I be so favoured that my God should visit me?
Regina Stat, the um, stable, and uh, Mary and Joseph, the baby, and uh, the shepherds and the three kings. And uh, they're all looking at the baby on that particular night, weren't they? And uh, wondering who he was. But when they realized who, who he was, the Christ child, and uh, eventually would become the savior of the world, the hope of the world, to bring joy and peace. I suppose the world, or the word uh, peace, especially in, at this Christmas time, lays quite heavy on our hearts and in our minds. Reading in our papers, as we have done over the uh, past weeks, the people wanting to leave Christ out of Christmas and uh, to do anything uh, to stop this kind of thing happening, uh, producing a nativity. So as Christians, I think, uh, in our prayers, and our prayers must be that peace will come to our troubled world. If only over this Christmas period, we all feel so helpless, don't we, uh, at not knowing what to do in these, in, the, in these situations. But we can pray. Pray that the powers to be will see the light, the light that came from that star, which led those wise men and those shepherds uh, safely to the stable. How very important the star is in the Christmas story, isn't it? The, the baby became, later on, the light of the world. So let us this Christmas pray that the light will shine even brighter over the next uh, two or three weeks. You don't have to be a Christian to pray, because the Lord will hear and answer all your prayers. But if you do accept the Lord in your hearts and in your life, then you will become another small uh, light in that great star and kind of get on board uh, with us uh, to uh, need helping to fight against those who are against our Christian faith and beliefs. So we hope that through our presentation here this evening that uh, you have seen or heard something uh, that will make you think again of the Christmas story, the wonderful story, the nativity, and that the light will shine from your hearts this Christmas. Next Sunday evening, we're holding our carol service here at uh, five o'clock. You're all very well, well, well welcomed. And uh, at the end of that service, we're going to uh, portray uh, about the, the light and the star. I'll not tell you any more. Come and see it, of course. And uh, we're going to do that at the end of the, uh, the service, which is next Sunday. And so it started with a baby, and uh, have we had a lovely baby here this evening? Uh, uh, we had him last night as well, and uh, it's, it's been a perfect. I wish she hadn't cried now and again. Uh, <laughs> with a baby, it, it's a real, real perfect. But uh, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, tell me. Jane, is it just that? Yeah. I wish your boys were named Brian, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, but, uh, but Jay has uh, been with us for the first time. Uh, his mum was here uh, last evening, but the lady who carried him in is his grandma. And uh, this is the first time they've been with us. And we're very indebted to you uh, for loaning, if you like, uh, baby Jay uh, to do uh, what he has done and played a very important part. In, the, in our uh, in our uh, uh, usable now the uh, I'm going to say one to thank you so I'm going to be very brief and very very sincere in, in saying that and uh, a lot of people have helped uh, with this production went the way through as you could well imagine one can't do it on, on one's own and doesn't want to but uh, a lot of people have been involved the choir uh, don't only, don't, doesn't only consist of our own people here at Shelling, but so members of the churches together have joined us, and members of the Salvationists from uh, Gospel also have taken part. And we, or I am anyway, I'm very indebted to them uh, to come along and uh, to help us with this beautiful having to put up with me over the last 14 or 15 weeks, but uh, nevertheless, it, it certainly paid off, and they've done very well and uh, it's been excellent so thank you to each of those 
uh, as I say, many have helped in, in setting up at the hall and over the over this couple of weeks, and uh, they know who they are. I'm not going to go right through them, of course, but uh, my appreciation and thanks to them. You may have seen the decorations in the window. Uh, they're lovely, aren't they? Uh, the flower ladies, we held a flower class here on Wednesday evenings, and they gave their time and the and, and the flowers as well uh, to do this for us. And uh, there are some here this evening, ladies, but uh, they're a credit to you, and thank you very much again uh, for using your talents in, in uh, display of the windows as you have done. <coughs> in that little box in the back there, the operators there who have done a magnificent job in the sound and the PowerPoint, uh, the pictures you have seen throughout the musical, thanks to Dan, and also to Matt who controlled the lighting. Uh, he's had one bash at this, that's all. And uh, last Friday, we had our last rehearsal, <coughs> and uh, the, uh, the uh, colleague of mine was here from the college, set to get the lights and wiring them up, and I think he put the last wire in about two minutes before we had the rehearsal. So Ben, sorry, not Ben, it's Matt, uh, who um, has done a grand job in uh, producing the lighting. So thank you, uh, Matt, very much for that in there. Um, so that's the bed it. It's, uh, the uh, <coughs> song says, come see the beauty of the king. Well, we have tonight, uh, I'm sure, and uh, we wish you from the army here, a very, very happy Christmas to you all. And yes, a, 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 a peaceful new year and a happy new year to you. I'm going to invite you now to sing our last carol. Again, the same format if you like, and we'll call on the screen. And, uh, and let's have a good sing together. Thank you.